missed Monday's show? Here's the R recap presented by Honda. Stone Cold Steve Austin here on the Rich Eisen Show. Who named you Steve Austin? I was Steve Williams and uh, in Dallas, Texas when I was getting my start. Back in the old days, there was a guy from the University of Oklahoma named Dr. Death Steve Williams. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't use that name because it, it would cause confusion on the card. So Dutch Mantel looks at me and says, all right, uh, you're Steve Austin. And I said, well, I don't want to be Steve Austin. He goes, you got five minutes to come up with a name. <laughs> this is right before I'm fixing to go out, Rich. You know, the, your last name, your whole name has a big effect on your career. Of course. So finally he says, you know, basically get your ass out there. You're Steve Austin. And that's how I got it. After you get off the field, there seems to be something that one would think a, uh, a three-year-old would eat. Ice cream, broken up, Rice Krispies, treats, birthday cake, muffins, fruity pebbles. You tweeted this out yeah but it's not your birthday eric <laughs> it started years ago where i just wanted to sacrifice something during the week for the team to try to make myself individually better and if we win i smash as much ice cream candy everything in sight to make up for the week and to reward myself for all the, the hard work and sacrifice so if i mean a bunch of ice cream that means we're winning a bunch of games so yay for me you ready for overreaction monday we'll start you were just talking about the new orleans saints their season is toast no way season's not over teddy we- bridgewater is Teddy hot. Bridgewater had a chance last mm-hmm. year in Week 17, stunk it up, didn't do much yesterday. All I know is that Teddy Bridgewater has been hired for this situation. Steelers 0-2, circling the drain with Big Ben out for the year. I, I, I don't think that's an overreaction, but we do need to see what Mason Rudolph looks like. Same thing with Gardner Minshew, by the way. I cannot get enough of this kid. Photograph of him that went viral. He looks like he's uh, the quarterback of the Jacksonville Shaguars. First blush narrative was involving retirement about Big Ben, that this could be it. As long as physically he's capable of playing, I fully expect him to come back. And I think with the advances in medicine, you know, you see guys coming back in baseball that are throwing harder. And Roethlisberger is a competitor, regardless of what he says and the attention that he tries to get. He's always a guy that's showing up and, and play. As long as the medical piece checks out, I fully expect him to be back next year. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to get the dog and pony show because Ben likes attention now. Ben loves his attention. So he may say a comment and get people to thinking he's going to retire, but I, I think come next July, Ben Roethlisberger will be in Latrobe and he'll be in Steelers camp. Do you have any good memory from Madison Square Garden? Oh, yeah, there, man. man. I'm, you know, working a high-profile match uh, at SummerSlam called Highway to Hell with The Undertaker in which, uh, for the first time in my life, I was knocked out and knocked out in the middle of a match in front of 20,000 people live on pay-per-view. And I remember when I got knocked out, I was laying there on the mat, and I looked up, and, and Earl Hebner, the referee, is looking down. He goes, God dang it, boy. He goes, you okay? <laughs> And I looked up at him, and I see him, and I see the, the ceiling of Madison Square Garden. I said, where am I? He goes, God dang it, boy, you in the garden. <laughs> For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.